اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد في الأولين وصل على سيدنا محمد في الآخرين وصل على سيدنا محمد في الملأ الأعلى إلى يوم الدين ما شاء الله لا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري روح العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي ماذا دي السلطان أولي سيد الشيخ عبد الله الفائز داغستاني السلطان أولي سيد الشيخ محمد ناظم عادل الحقاني ماذا سيد الشيخ محمد عادل رباني رجال الله عينونا بعون الله وكونوا عونا لنا بالله صحيح بفضل الله أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أطيع الله وأطيع الرسول وأولي الأمر منكم Obey Allah, obey Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and obey those who are in authority amongst you. <clears throat> when we sit and we recite thing, the love of Muhammad is uh, his family is my true religion, my reason to be some I, uh, some people may object not some, a lot of people may object. Um, <clears throat> because they say, oh, this is like the Christians. You know, the Christians said, you just believe in Jesus and you go to heaven. Okay? That's, uh, so you Muslims now are like this. You go do sins and then uh, you say, I love Prophet and that's it. Yes. Why? Because... Our Prophet ﷺ informed us, Al-Mar'u ma'man ahab, he said to the Arab. To the, he came and this hadith is clear like the cloudless sky, blue like the cloudless sky. No uh, mincing words. He came to Prophet ﷺ and he said, tell me what is, when is judgment day? He said, Prophet ﷺ, Jibreel alayhi salam came and said, answer him. This is a Sahih hadith. This is in Bukhari. And he said to him, what have you prepared for for this hour? He says, ma a'adattu min kathiri salat wala min kathiri siyam aw kama qad. I have not prepared much prayers. I have not prepared much fasting. And you know, Arab are Bedouins. <coughs> there's Arab and there's Arab. Arab are the ones who are living in the desert. And their nature, they, they, they're very straight to the point. They're not eloquent in the way they ask sometimes. They just ask. They have no... <clears throat> sometimes they're rough يعني, with their approach. But the Sahabas used to love when, the, when one of those Arabs come. Because the Sahabas are trained not to ask in the presence of Prophet. Don't ask about things that Prophet is not revealing to you because then it can harm you. If he stopped, if he didn't reveal it, it is a mercy for you. As uh, one of the companions uh, was, Prophet was saying uh, to, to make Hajj, and one of the companions stood up and said, every year, and Prophet didn't answer three times. Every year, and Prophet Sallallahu said, don't ask. If I said yes, la wajaba. If I said yes, Prophet Sallallahu This is to show you the, the high level of Sayyidina Muhammad. If he had answered yes, every year, la wajaba means it becomes an obligation on every Muslim. He has the, the Allah gave him the tasrif. He can set the rules with his, with his speech. For us, imagine if we have to go make Hajj every year. So the Sahabas were trained not to ask. They sit in his presence with full manners. Whatever he reveals, whatever he teaches, that's what they take. But they were curious about so many things. And a lot of times <laughs> they only had a... Uh, the only it was only revealed when one of those Arabs will come, <laughs> walk in and say, "Oh, Rasul, what about this? What about that?" Like so, the companions used to be very happy because <laughs> they didn't ask, but they actually learned something from these people. So, in this hadith, Al Maru Ma'man Ahab, Sayyidna Anas was saying that there wasn't a day happier than than this day. 
for them, for the companions, than the day they entered Islam. That was the happiest day. And then the day when they heard Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam saying, Al-Mar'u Ma'man Ahab. The person is with the one he loves. You will end up with those you love. So when we say the love of Muhammad and his family is my true religion, my reason to be, and if when I die, not if when I die, we're all gonna die, but if I have too many sins, and that's not even an if, we are going to have too many sins. That's the reality. When when what we don't know of sins is mountains compared to what we know. The the love of Muhammad. And this is big is I don't pray much and I don't fast much but I love you and I love Allah and your Nabi said you are with the one you love you will be resurrected in a you will be, a person is resurrected with the ones he love no it's not a license to go out no it's not, we're not saying, oh, you say, I love Prophet Sallallahu and no. If you love Prophet, you'll follow his head. If we really love him, if we have ishq for him, we will try to align ourselves behind him, follow his footsteps. But, we, but it can happen because of the weakness of a human being that you can be a lover and you can have addictions. And you can have misgivings. And you can have shortcomings. It does. And also where we learn this from the sunnah. The companion that was drinking all the time. And every, uh, sometime they'll bring him to profit completely drunk. He was an addicted, alcoholic person. And when Sayyidina Umar one day lost his temper and says, Let's do something about this guy, more severe. Prophet ﷺ, or somebody cursed him. He says, don't curse him. He loves Allah and his Prophet. Certified. He loves Allah and his Prophet. Do not curse him. You see? So when we emphasize mahabba, love of Allah and his Prophet ﷺ, it is not be based on... Uh, Goofy Sufi ideas as they like to label them. No, it's based on Sahih Sunnah. The, the, the only acceptable dua and ibadah is Salah al Nabi. The only acceptable one doesn't require wudu, doesn't require uh, special time doesn't require special place. Even ulama said it's accepted from a fasiq, from somebody who is disobedient. And why? Because sallallahu alayhi wasallam is the one beloved to Allah. And anyone who makes salawat on him, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sending 10. All times making salah ala nabi is accepted because of the high status of this beloved. So when we talk too much about Muhammadun Nabi and the importance of loving Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, it is, it is an asal, it is a, a main major principle of faith. As a matter of fact, your faith is measured by how much you love. Equates mahabba is equating how much you love Prophet وسلم, is equal to how much iman in Allah in Islam you have. That's how much mahabba is important. So it's not too much that we start every time with salawat and we end up with salawat and we start our dua with salawat and we end up with salawat. And we're always talking about Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Why? What is that? Because that is, that is the, the easiest way to Allah's pleasure. 
So you may have shortcomings in your prayers, in your salawat, mends it. Mahabba, love, mends it. As the Arabi said, not too much prayers, not too much fasting. But I love you. The Prophet ﷺ say to him, No, no, you have to pray more. You have to do your afkar. You have to do your you have to do your uh, fast uh, extra. No, he said just that is enough for you to to uh, to be with me. Where is Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu going to be? In the highest Maqam al Mahmud, the highest heaven. Um, the Mashaykh try to cultivate love in the hearts of their followers. This is why are important. This is why, why the awrad of Salah al-Nabi are given to murids. This is why we follow. This is why we follow tariqah really. It is to to bring that mahabba in your heart of Allah and His Prophet Once that is. Once you love, then inshallah we reach safety. Wa min Allahi tawfiq bi hurmatil Habib bi hurmatil Fatiha.